Alright you guys, it's me. As always, thanks for watching. So I have part two, sort of, an update on uh, the Tamiya lunchbox. Uh, you know, I asked you guys what color you wanted to paint this, but you know, I don't have enough people watching right now to really give me suggestions before I start. You know, I'm not going to wait like a few weeks for people to give me suggestions. So, I just decided to paint it. One weird thing, I asked my friend what color I should paint it, and he'd never seen, you know, like a Tamiya or, you know, any of the cars before, but he said it should be yellow, which, you know, on the box, that's what it shows. But, you know, I didn't want to do it the same as everyone else, so I painted it a different color. And this is what we got. So, I think this is Lagoon Blue, perhaps. I could be wrong. Uh, per norm, this is just Rust-Oleum. Uh, one thing, you know, I was gonna film my whole, my, me painting it, but, you know, there's too many people around, I didn't, I couldn't do that, so. I just painted it, but some tips for painting, and I'm not a pro, I've just learned these things, you know, over time. With spray paint, I know you like shaking up, you want to shake it up as much as possible, because that, you know, really mixes it up good. Uh, when you spray it, I usually keep it, you know, around like this far away, however far that is. You get too close, you're going to coat it too far, you're not going to coat it enough. Uh, so, you know, maybe like a foot and a half. Another thing, you know, you always get into painting this and you always think it doesn't have enough paint, so you put huge coats of paint on. With these, it's better to do t light coats. Per coat, you don't even need to coat the whole thing, just, you know, light coats. I always get, you know, the way I am, I'm always like, oh, I don't have enough paint on there. But, uh, yeah, so light layers, and that'll, that should do you well. You know, there's different kind of paints. There's matte, there's gloss. We want to make it shiny. So, there's lots of options there for what you can do. Uh, another thing with painting is the weather. I have some awesome painted things, and that's just because of the weather conditions. My my computer. Uh, my ideal conditions is probably like 72 degrees, because you know the paint. Uh, I guess you know I want it to run, not really like you know when you spray it on to drip down, but I want it to be you know viscous enough. Is, is that the right word? Or is that the opposite of the word I'm thinking of? Uh, to when you spray it it settles down and doesn't, you know, uh, dry with texture on it. But, you know, that's alright. And yeah, painting stuff is pretty easy. I know with the uh, RCs, you can get the polycarb bodies and then you start from the inside, so you gotta do it backwards depending on, you know, paint scheme you want. Uh, you got the hard bodies like this where you paint the outside. I prefer these, just, you know, it's easier. Um, and it seems like, you know, I just see, like how these come out. All the uh, other ones, when you uh, paint the inside and then you peel the protective uh, cover off, because it's going through plastic, it looks, you know, gloss. So that's just one thing. If I wanna, you know, shine this up, I gotta put a gloss over it or something. Um, but one thing, another thing I do, this is just a, uh, an example, I just have boxes for, you know, ordering stuff, and I use these as little mini paint booths for, you know, painting stuff, so there isn't, you know, wind coming in, debris from places, so that's just a tip, I use boxes as little micro paint booths, you know, someday maybe I can set up my garage so I actually have a place where it's warm, I can control, you know, all the humidity that's ventilated, that's big enough for me to work, but, you know, not right now. I gotta clean the hell out of my garage. You know, looks like a homeless encampment in there. But, just a update on the, uh, the paint for the lunchbox, and I think it turned out pretty good. You know, there's a few places that are, you know, not so good. I mean, you probably wouldn't notice them. You really, really gotta look. But there's a few places where you got a little, uh, texture, and that's just because the conditions, it wasn't warm enough for the paint to settle down and you know just flatten out and go together and along with that I also got the the rims I wanted to match everything up 
It was supposed to be this color, yellow, but you know, like I said, I like changing things, customizing them, custom paint. So, painted these. I'll just pull these off the uh, the molds, and then we'll be good to go. So, in the next video, I will. I think I am going to uh, just set you guys up, pointing down, and then me just you know assembling the whole thing because this doesn't really come in that many parts, and I think I can get this done pretty quick. So, I will just. Get, show you guys what I'm doing and then complete it then. And then the engine I'm going to use, the motor, uh, I have a torque tuned Tamiya in my uh, my Jimny. So, you know, I didn't get another engine this time because I don't need all my cars going at once. So I was just going to pull the uh, torque tuned out of the Jimny and put it in the lunchbox and that should be good. And then I'll have one of these. Uh, extra tin cans around for you know another project or something so we'll see what happens you know I have, I first want to get this built you know stock you know I didn't do the stock color but just stock and then maybe upgrade from there I was thinking of maybe a roof rack would be good uh, maybe a homemade bike carrier with like a model mini bike you know like a like a little gorilla mini bike but yeah, there's just some things I was planning on doing, but first I want to get this stock, drive it around stock and see how, you know, it is right out of the box, how they intend us to drive it. So stay tuned for that, guys. Just a few tips on painting. You know, you want the right temperature. You don't want wind. You want to do it, the you know, uh, small coats. But uh, yeah, guys, I love painting things. You can put custom colors on stuff, make it your own. So yeah, that's what I did guys, so stay tuned in the next video, oh god damn it, uh, probably, uh, not probably, I'll be putting everything together, so I think I'll be doing that tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, as always guys, thanks for watching, it was nice having you here, like and subscribe if you want more videos like this, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon.